Hello guys. Welcome to 6th session of Razer View Engine Tutorials. In this session we are going to learn about view bag and view data within MVC application. View bag and view data both used to pass data from controller to view. View bag provide dynamic properties to store and pull values from controller to view. Note that it is a dynamic feature that was introduced in C Sharp 4 which allow dynamically add properties to our object. Let's add new project in this solution. Of type ASP.NET Web Application. Of MVC. Here is a directory structure of MVC application. However we are not learn about MVC in this series. We will simply use learn directory structure for MVC application. Here is a directory named controller which contains all of the controllers used in our application. Let's open any controller I am going to open home controller. Here are predefined actions for that controller. For each action it returning views. All views are stored in home directory within view directory. Open home controller and create a new action which return action result with name say hello. Within that we are going to use view bag object to add value. View bag is type of dynamic so we can add any properties dynamically. Like this. View bag dot hello equals hello world. And return view at the end. After creating action we need to create view for that action. For this we need to right click on this action and select add view and click on add button. Which will create a new file within home directory of view directory. In this view we are just simply retrieving value from our view bag. For this write view bag dot property name that we are used in controller. In our case it is hello. Let's view in browser. Ignore the other things it was generated from layout. One of major disadvantage is that if we perform any typo in name within view or controller it does not provide any compile time error. For example change our hello to hello world. Which does not exist in view bag, still does not provide any compile time error. However at runtime it produce null pointer exception. Both view data and view bag are defined in controller base class. View data is type of view data dictionary. Which supports key value pair instead of dynamic properties here key must be in string format and all values are stored as an object so we need to type cast before performing any operations. Let use view data object. Switch to controller within our say hello method I am going to write hello from data with value hello from view data. And switch to view and write view data within square brackets write name of key that is hello from data. Like view beg, view data also does not provide any compile time errors let's view in browser. Here we got our output.
ViewBeg data are stored into View Data's dictionary internally. Let's understood it. Copy view bag statement and use key of view data. And also copy view data statement and use view bags property. Here we got output. Means that view bag data are originally stored in a view data, so we can retrieve it by using view bag as well as view data. Let's see what we are learn in this session. Both of them used to pass values between views and controller however it is does not recommended. Instead of this we need to use strongly typed model we will see it in later session. Those objects are defined in controller base class. View bag is type of dynamic, which allow store data into dynamic property for object. View data is type of view data dictionary, which store data with key value pair. Both of them does not generate any compile time errors if we are misspell any property or key. View beg data are stored into view data's dictionary internally. Here is a simple example of view bag and view data. We are created a new action in controller. And set values in both view bag as well as view data. Created a new view and retrieve values from both of them. Thanks for watching have a nice day. If you have any doubt feel free to contact me.